just thought I'd show you a little bit around uh, the complex that we're staying in here in the, in the Algarve in Quinta do Lago. So this is sort of the park area and one of the sort of leisure activity areas. Obviously there's tennis courts over there, there's children's play areas and all around here there's lots of villas. And also behind that area over there is the bowling green where you can play bowls and things like that. There's loads and loads of different activities and there's lots and lots of stuff to do. Also it's attached to a large 18 hole golf course. So obviously it is a golfing resort, although we don't play golf, but anyway. and I like to play bowls here. So obviously this is the entrance to the complex up there. The main clubhouse area over there, and this is the mini intro supermarket. There, they've just got sort of extras that you need, sort of nothing big, but it's just really convenient. And English newspapers and baked beans and things like that, so it's really good. And now I'm just going to quickly um, show you around and take you to see the clubhouse, um, which is all Christmassy, obviously, all the Christmas station. Christmas decorations are up. Um, this was just before um, Christmas, which is why in the nativity scene that you're about to see in a minute, there is no little baby Jesus. They religiously make sure that they put the baby Jesus in place on Christmas Day. As you can see there, the cot is empty. Um, anyway, so that's the swimming pool just through that bit there. You can sort of see it from the bar. Um, and this is a really lovely, really delightful area. There's also a fire, open fireplace, um, really delightful area just to chill, have some drinks, barman waving at me. Um, it's really, really lovely, really nice. Hello, Lou. Nice to see you again in Four Seasons. Thank you. Nice to be here. And now I'm just going to quickly take you outside to the bars behind me at the moment and that's also uh, part of the swimming pool. Just take you outside just to show you the outdoor swimming pool. Um, as you can see the lovely uh, sun which is really low in the sky and the long shadows. It's only about three o'clock in the afternoon and um, the air is really fresh and crisp and lovely. And the swimming pool there is really beautiful. Um, obviously no one's in it because it's way too cold um, so that's really good. Um, and then we decided to have some lunch. So this is me just sitting next to the swimming pool, having lovely avocado, uh, smoked salmon, herring. There's radishes in there. There's rocket lettuce, cherry tomato salad. And then I'm just having some water with a bit of mint leaf and a bit of lemon. Uh, yeah, lemon or lime in my water just by the bar. Um, yeah, so we're having a really nice, really lovely, relaxing time here in the Algarve in the Four Seasons Country Club. And they've got an amazing variety of spirits and drinks you can see here. Um, and then after that, um, I went and had my nails done. I didn't have a full manicure. I just had to have two nails, had to be repaired. So you can see um, I've only got foil on two nails because they had sort of uh, broken off. That's the manicurist there on her phone. Um, yep, so I'll show you a bit more of the clubhouse. So everybody, I'm um, just kind of showing you around the clubhouse here. This is the library room, and also you can double up as a TV room. There are other TV rooms as well, obviously. So that's that part. And through here is one of the game rooms. You can play snooker or billiards here. This is one of the nice uh, rooms. I've got a few memories playing uh, snooker on this table here. And also, this is the IT room, or the business centre. So you can use that as well. So 
and there are also there are obviously other games rooms and inside the indoor swimming pool, obviously you can see the outdoor swimming pool from there. Um, this is obviously the indoor swimming pool. Um, it's lovely and warm, really nice. And then this is the golfing range or the driving range. Um, so there's loads of tourists. It's quite busy it's sort of um, around sort of Christmas time. It's quite popular with British and Dutch and German tourists. Um, so yeah, this is the golfing range. As you can see all those, uh, driving range, sorry. See all of those balls there. Um, yeah, and it was, as you can see, still quite a clear day. Um, sort of the sun kind of goes in and out. Sometimes uh, it's totally overcast, although still quite bright. Uh, at the moment, it's, um, it's particularly, the sun was quite high in the sky. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Hi there, guys. It's Lou Arnold here, weight loss guru and health enthusiast. Right now, so I hope you're really enjoying my holiday here in the Algarve in Portugal. I hope you're enjoying everything that I've been showing you. I've been trying quite a bit of the Portuguese culinary. It's been absolutely delicious with the Portuguese dishes that I've tried. Um, now, one thing that I have tried quite a lot of and that I have been inspired by is the different Portuguese salads that I've had. I'm gonna share with you today my protein salad. So I hope you're gonna like this. It's absolutely delicious, full of loads and loads of protein protein, um, hardly any fat, the few bits of uh, fat that there is that's really good fat for you. Um, so I hope you can enjoy this. And there are so many ingredients in this salad that I just thought I'd talk you through um, the ingredients that I've got. So first off, I've got some new potatoes here, gorgeous Portuguese new potatoes. They're kind of quite dark yellow, uh, really kind of nutty and sweet. They're really delicious. Now last night I did uh, cook, um, I just um, did some roast chicken. So this is leftovers roast chicken from last night. So I'm gonna take the skin off the breast. I'm just gonna use some of the breast meat there. I also have um, marinated herring with dill. I, I just love herring. I've got three boiled eggs here. I have actually um, already boiled these eggs. As you can see, I just need to sort of peel them. Um, so I've got the eggs there. I have uh, smoked salmon here. This smoked salmon has got, um, it's, it's been smoked with dill. So it's really great there, as well as the herring that's got dill on it as well. And I've got some sweet pickled onions. I've got a bit of parsley here as well. I've got a portobello mushroom there, any mushroom will do. I've got a lemon. I have a tomato. This is a, a red onion. I've got some uh, organic ridge cucumber. You can use any cucumber, but I just love these ridge cucumber. They're kind of quite crispy and, and just, they're just delicious. I've got some uh, uh, lettuce. I have some mint leaves. I'm moving down here. I've got some shea seeds in this pack here. I have one uh, avocado. I've got some tiny little gherkins here. They're quite sweet, they're quite lovely. I've got some uh, olives there. Got some pistachio nuts just to sort of decorate um, on top later. Got some dried um, apricots. Got some whole almonds here. And these are dried cranberries. So I've got some dried cranberries there. I've also just got um, just some grapes and some chestnuts here. That's just to decorate my scene with my kitchen. So yeah, so I really hope that you're going to enjoy this salad recipe. I, I love it myself, so I hope you will too. So I'm starting off by just placing all of the uh, all of the lettuce and also some parsley there. I'm just sprinkling over into one giant dish. That's also some mint leaves. I'm also just sort of breaking up into little pieces and just putting put, sort of sprinkling them over. I'm just cutting up a red half of a red onion here. Um, I'm just cutting up into the tiniest, smallest little pieces that you can possibly uh, cut it up into, and then I'm just adding that on top. I'm destalking the mushroom. And then I'm doing the same with the mushroom, portobello mushroom, cutting up into teeny weeny, tiny little pieces, small as you can get them. Um, and that's just the gherkins. I'm also cutting up into tiny pieces. And this is the dried apricots. I'm cutting up into really small little pieces. Um, it's really nice to have those in the middle of a salad. Th these are almonds. I'm doing exactly the same, just cutting them up because it's really nice to have that hard crunch in the middle of a salad. And then I'm just sort of got a small amount of cucumber exactly the same try and cut them up into smaller pieces as possible this is so that with every sort of mouthful you can basically get 
sort of as many different flavors in as possible because they are such small little pieces in the salad. Then I'm just adding that. And then this is the uh, pickled sweet onions. I'm also cutting them up into tiny little pieces. Um, and I'm adding that to the salad. And then I'm giving it a tiny little sort of stir just there. And then these are just the avocado bits. I'm cutting these up into bigger pieces because these bits are going to be staying on top. So they're more kind of decorative, more for de decoration. And it's really nice to have a big piece of avocado as well in your salad. And I'm adding the dried cranberries as well to the top there. And I'm also adding a few olives. And they're the pistachio nuts. I'm just sprinkling them around. And then I've cut these uh, tomato pieces into half circles, putting them all around the edges, making sure there's gaps in between each tomato. Then in between the tomatoes, I'm just placing um, a piece of egg just to sort of give it that decorative look. Um, and then this is just a close up of the salad so far and I'm gonna sprinkle some chia seeds, just to kind of sprinkle them sort of as fairly as possible just across. Um, it's really nice to give it a little, that little bit of a nuttiness when you bite into it. And then what I'm doing is, as regards to the proteins, it, obviously the, the veget non-vegetarian option, I'm just putting this on a separate plate. So I'm putting the salmon, the chicken breast and the herring on a separate plate with a piece of lemon there. And I've boiled the potatoes as you saw earlier. I'm just cutting them up into sort of round um, little pieces and I'm just decorating them on the inside of the circle of my eggs and my tomato uh, just to make it look that much more decorative and then I'm placing a bit of chia seeds over the fish and the chicken and then also uh, just on the rest of the um, salad there so as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous looks really nice it's really great to have all of the different textures the fruitiness of the dried fruits and then you've got the nuts and the unusual flavors with the seeds and the potatoes and the texture of the avocado and then you've also got the slight sharpness of the pickled onions and the tomato it's absolutely delicious so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this recipe um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye